There are no coincidences. From Neville Goddard's The Law and the Promise. In 1898, a struggling author named Morgan Robertson concocted a novel about a fabulous Atlantic liner, far larger than any that had ever been built. Robertson loaded his ship with rich and complacent people and then wrecked it one cold April night on an iceberg. This somehow showed the futility of everything, and in fact, the book was called Futility. Fourteen years later, a British shipping company named White Star Line built a steamer remarkably like the one in Robertson's novel. The new liner was 66,000 tons displacement. Robertson's was 70,000 tons. The real ship was 882 and a half feet long. The fictional one was 800 feet. Both could carry about 3,000 people and both had enough lifeboats for only a fraction of this number. But then, this didn't seem to matter because both were labeled unshakable. On April 19, 1912, the real ship left Southampton on her maiden voyage to New York with passengers collectively worth $250 million. On her way over, she too struck an iceberg and went down on a cold April night. Robertson called his ship the Titan. The White Star Line called its ship the Titanic. There is no fiction.